what's good YouTube and Twitch we're live to both with a bit of a tipsy conversation on something that's been bothering me a little bit within the community now I don't think anybody is against the new hygiene rules in general I think that was welcome with open arms everybody is excited about this if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about there's a new hygiene clause in the official Yu-Gi-Oh rules that basically states if you are a problem to the tournament itself in terms of your hygiene if you you smell a little too bad things aren't going too well people around you notice you have to take care of it or you might be asked to drop from the tournament slash leave nobody wants to be sitting across from somebody where their musk just becomes unbearable where you are actually affecting my mental state because you couldn't be bothered to shower before coming now let's address controversies a couple of things that may actually mess with this rule the first one is the very small portion of people and this is a medical condition there are very few people who get this musk from a medical condition and i empathize with you here it would suck to have judge called with you if you have a severe medical condition on actually smelling i think you should be able to a prove that medical condition and b talk to the head judge beforehand c carry extra cologne and deodorant hopefully you don't have some skin condition along with it that stops you from that but if you do you gotta realize that you do affect the people around you and that's also not their fault there's one time that i really hate this clause being called and i think it's where it gets abused where people legitimately are abusing the hygiene clause it really pisses me off when somebody's losing they've been fine with everything up till now suddenly they're losing and judge i smell my opponent and i don't like it i think a judge should be able to come over into a situation and look at what's happening and determine well suddenly you're losing the duel and now you call the hygiene clause this is the same to me as accepted game state when somebody is holding information that something has gone wrong in the duel ruling wise and they're waiting and suddenly they're losing instead of winning and then they then call judge and say oh the game state's messed up my opponent did this and i just realized it no 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 you realized a while ago and if you did it you would know that it's accepted game state so you're trying to call the judge and get a double game loss or something on a game state that has gone on too long uh this is very similar with the hygiene rule people trying to abuse it in order to get a win i actually know somebody in chat i'm not gonna say who uh, somebody in chat had this situation at locals they were in the finals of a local tournament they were winning the duel and the opponent's girlfriend aware of this rule called judge to try to get them dq'd for that rule so a it's bringing another factor into it somebody that's not even in the duel who sees their mans is losing the duel b they call in the hygiene clause abusing the hygiene rule is something that i usually would wag the finger at but there is one situation where i think i would abuse it or call it and you can for yourself let me know in the comment section below let me know if i am abusing it or if i am using it to its correct venue and we're gonna full screen here sorry you're gonna lose the duel for a second very interesting duel actually by the way i would if i go to the restroom and I notice someone rush out without washing their hands, which very commonly happens. And I can't catch them to let them know more discreetly, hey man, you didn't wash your hands. Go back and do that, please. You're about to touch trade binders. You're about to touch other people's cards in the tournament. Please freaking wash your hands. If they run out of the bathroom and I can't get to them discreetly, and I sit down as a grown ass man and my next opponent is that guy who ran out without washing their hands i'm gonna tell them you go wash your hands you're not touching my deck please i'm not gonna go buy brand new sleeves because of you go and wash your hands and they won't do it because oh the, the round is starting i can't i can't i'm gonna raise my hand and call judge and i'm gonna get them to come over 
And I want to know also, if you're a judge, let me know how you would rule this or what you would do. Please let me know because I'd hopefully want a time extension and to play my opponent to the fullest of their ability if I'm at a tournament. I would call a judge and explain the situation. I was in the restroom. They ran out without washing their hands. If they tried to deny it, I would be like, what color is the soap? Young John Moore had a crush and was at a taco shop on a field trip. And he came out of the bathroom without washing his hands. And that crush really got him when she asked, Hey, what color was the soap? In front of everybody. Yo, that that was some soul-crushing stuff. And I was like, uh, 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 pink? And it was clear. I got got. And usually convention soap is going to be clear pink or white. Pearl white. But, like, they're still going to have to guess which it is if they didn't pay attention to it and they're probably gonna get it wrong they got a chance but they're probably gonna get it wrong if i can like bring that position against my opponent and they start like i don't know i didn't pay attention that's pretty strong proof that they didn't wash their hands most people will be able to recall the color of the soap they're using I would legitimately use this against my opponent to wash their hands i'm not gonna buy brand new sleeves because of you I am not going to go and spend eight, ten dollars whatever the vendors are charging on Player's Choice, Ultra Pro, Eclipse, my favorite brands of sleeves. I'm not going to go spend that next round because of you. And I'm not going to have my hands touching your crap all, all the entire duel because of you. If I notice that, I'm going to call them in. God knows how many times that happens at tournament. I don't want to think about how many times that actually happens in a tournament or say in a poker setting, whatever. But if I see it, I'm going to call it. And that's where I would abuse the rules myself. Let me know what you think about that. And again, if you're a judge, how would you handle that situation of you being called, me saying that my opponent did that, and me requesting the time extension for them to go do that? Would you accept that? Well, how would you enforce that? What would you do as a judge? Please let me actually know. Because that is a hygiene issue at its root. But overall, I think everybody's pretty happy with the uh, hygiene rules and its inception overall. There's a low controversy around it, like I said. The people that they... Their, their functions, their bodies can't help it. Now, I also understand, like, let's say a regional. I, I know multiple people have been DQ'd at regionals for this. Let's say... You go at 3 a.m. and you're driving six hours to a regional. You get there at 9. You've spent your six hours in a car with four buddies. It's it's a little hot in there, right? And then you are playing eight, nine, ten hours in a regional. And you're a bigger guy like I used to be slash still am. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a bigger guy. Let's face it. And you start to stink a little. Make sure it's on you. Bring cologne. Bring deodorant. The Axe body shower. Uh, it's not a shower. Axe body spray is not a shower. Let me repeat. Axe body spray is not a shower. But shower before you leave. Bring some cologne. Bring another stick of deodorant. And be able to pave over it. You'll be fine. Now if you forget these. Hopefully there's a convenience store somewhere. Hopefully you can finish around early. But even for you bigger guys. It's on you. Now, again, if somebody's doing this mid-round, they're losing to you in the duel, and that's why I hope judges come through and realize the situation. Realize what's happening. Oh, you're losing, and now you're calling it. Suddenly, you can't stand it. I, I want this to be a message to judges. Look at the situation before you enforce. Look at what you're, uh, what's happening before you enforce. That would be nice. And uh, I also get that, like, you know, there's an over like over sensualization. That's probably not a word. Tipsy John, sorry. With this entire ruling, it's been in news articles. You want to like have a nicer community. You want it to be awesome. You want it to smell good. Just don't abuse the rules. I personally don't think the situation I am in is abusing it, but I do want to hear back from you. I want the community to treat people like people. I want the community to give everybody a chance to fix it as the rule states. The rule specifically states they take care of it or they're dealt with. Hopefully there's a way to deal with it for you. If it's a medical condition, again, let the judge know. Chat, you've had plenty to say. I have an issue where some people think I smell, but others don't, regardless of how many times I shower. 
Yeah, uh, everybody has a different musk and everybody has a different sense of smell. It, it's kind of like the judges point to decide, right, chat? Like, it's not always going to be up to you. Uh, what if someone wets their pants during a tournament? I'm pretty sure they're going to be uh, required. Again, the rule states they have to fix the situation or leave. So hopefully they brought backup clothing or somebody has backup clothing for them in that situation. You may not like your odor even if you do shower. Interesting. Uh... Okay, that's also a fair point, but, uh, and again, I brought up skin allergies. Overall, I think that the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! community gets it. The Yu-Gi-Oh! community as a whole is for it. There's going to be exceptions to every rule. There's going to be abuses to every rule. But I would hope that the community can come together and some common sense on how to enforce the rule when to enforce the rule, and how to enforce the rule. That's all from me. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? Chats had their chance to say their thoughts. And of course, there's always going to be the exceptions. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed Tipsy John ranting about something. And uh, maybe we'll do this more often. Uh, you know, maybe two videos a month of uh, Tipsy John rants. Thanks for watching, everybody.